Scorpio, this is your forecast for the month of October 2016. This is a general reading for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Rising, or Scorpio Moon. If you have a different rising or moon sign, you might find watching those videos helpful or more informative for you. Please remember that these are general readings, and so they may not apply to everyone. If you would like a reading that is specific to you, please visit my website at thealchemistastrologer.com provided on the link at the upper corner. If you have visited the site before, please clear your browser's cache for the schedule button to function properly. Normally, Scorpio, I would say my thank yous at the end of the reading, but this month I want to lead with a thank you because I have received such great support from you and a rise in subscriptions. So please know that this is mutual love and that I am working, you know, giving my every effort to give you the personal best. Okay, Scorpio, so the first week for you begins with the Three of Wands. And so maybe some of you have just begun to form some ideas and you're ready to put those out there. Uh, some of you, maybe there was some interest that you had, some something creative, a hobby, and you now feel that it has the potential to become a real business. Some of you in your interactions, you may be getting confirmation that you are indeed on the right path. Some of you are expanding your business. Those of you who are involved with commerce or maybe you produce some kind of goods or uh, anything that you're putting your ideas out there. Uh, because this is a card about enterprise, about trade, and your commercial abilities. Uh, some of you may be involved in some negotiations. Uh, and maybe, again, you're networking with others, you're putting your ideas out there, you're taking the initiative. Some of you uh, are seizing the initiative. You, you have found an opening. Uh, maybe you're you know, in competition with someone and you see an opening to take the lead and you take it. Uh, so for some of you, you, you have seized some, upon something, some opportunity. Uh, now, this card is about looking out into the future. You know, you're putting your ideas out there, you're getting with other people, some of you are dating, you're socializing, uh, and the focus is the future. And But this card is saying, you know, take the necessary steps to get to the future in order to allow those ships to come in. So the focus should be on the business at hand, your responsibilities, your duties, your obligations that are in the present that will impact your future in some way. Now, this is a great card because it gives you uh, good communication skills. You know exactly what to say. So if you're in an interview or you're trying to land that account or you're even on a date, you know exactly what to say. You've got the right answer and you're there at the right time. So you're very resourceful. Also, this is a week where you're, it's easy for you to adapt. You're very flexible and accommodating. So you may have some interactions where, you know, the schedule changes in some way, or, you know, you have to reschedule an appointment or something is canceled or just some kind of last minute change, either because, you know, something on your part or the part of the other person but you are you just go with the flow you're you're easy to adapt to any kind of changes that you encounter now for some of you though uh, there's some unreliability and maybe you let somebody down at the last minute or something doesn't come through something you were counting on falls through uh, and this is probably because you know there there have been a little bit of distortion maybe somebody was bending the truth or changing their story or maybe somebody was holding back some information that impacted these changes and so 
for some of you you won't be able to count on anybody else this is the time for you to step up and rely on yourself there won't be any there won't be any uh, white knights arriving um, excuse me any knights on white horses I'm sorry uh, or any last-minute rescues you know so this is a card where you're gonna have to depend largely on yourself now because you have great communication skills make sure you don't get carried away and start trying to create these fantastical stories make sure that what you say is the truth don't try to make people you know believe something that uh, puts you in a better light or in you know trying to prove that you have greater skills or capabilities than you actually possess because in some way or another this is going to come back to you so for some of you again you are networking you're talking to people you're putting your ideas out there and you may even be getting some revelations from some various sources uh, some of you are communicating with your spirit guides and you are having a greater self-awareness now some of you need to maybe you're talking too much you maybe you need to think about some things and you need to do some inner listening the second week you have the page of wands and so this is you know some new thing is occurring now maybe you're dealing with young people you could be uh, dealing with some fire signs Aries Leo Sagittarius uh, male or female Sun moon or rising uh, maybe somebody is uh, using the page of wands traits or the situation is but this could be a week where you receive some news some exciting news uh, something that makes you feel optimistic uh, maybe you're again the previous card was about commerce maybe this has to do with sales or some kind of performance maybe you're learning something new but this could be something that's unexpected and something that uh, connects to your future new possibilities and new possibilities that you may need to act on quickly so you may need to take some type of decisive action now this could be a new idea a new attitude some of you may find yourself in educational situations uh, but this is something that you're enthusiastic about you're just it's just starting to bubble to the surface so this could be a week where you're making some small changes that make a big difference uh, that improve things for you and it could be an improvement in your relationship or uh, your attitude or your environment some of you you know you're gonna have to act quickly because there's an invitation in the works some of you may be taking maybe a quick trip somewhere or you're attending a gathering or a small party or a get-together and when you get there again you had that three of wands you realize that uh, you've got good interaction your exchanges are stimulating and people are impressed with you your social skills and the way you attract other people uh, may even be surprising to you uh, now for some of you though you're looking at your relationships and there are some small things you know small ways in which the relationship is changing and it's making you feel a sense of unease or uncomfortable and you don't really know how to explain that uh, you know you could be involved with someone and normally they behave a particular way and now all of a sudden you feel like well they're not doing that anymore they're not responding that way what does that mean or am I imagining that uh, so again this could be a week of new energy uh, a new ambition a new desire a new way of being uh, now some of you are taking some action and you're reaping the fruits of that effort maybe it's just beginning to flow in some of you you know you may decide because you needed to stop talking and interacting so much this is a time where you're 
getting into nature you're taking maybe you're retreating or you're taking some actions because you feel a sense of gratitude now some of you you know you may be looking at some transactions or purchases that you've made and maybe you're taking some actions because they're really these actions are motivated by you know fear of poverty or scarcity consciousness um, but this is something new that's occurring it's young energy now the third week you have the star this is a major card so this is an important week for you so some of you may be dealing with young women uh, you may be getting some advice uh, you are definitely getting guidance from the universe uh, the angels, the stars, you know, they're guiding your path right now. Uh, and some of you may have a connection to healing in some way. Uh, maybe you're getting some help and help is coming to you from various sources. But this week, you are relying on your faith, your faith about a matter. Uh, and that's what's pulling you through. Uh, maybe you feel inspired uh, you feel a sense of renewal. Maybe you are feeling relieved or comforted in some way by something that has happened. Maybe some help or protection is in the picture for something that you were that you needed. Some of you are developing your education in some way, some higher education. You're expanding your knowledge or working on a special talent or skill that you have. Uh, some of you are trying to figure out something. You're trying to discover some secret or uh, solve some kind of mystery. But many of you may be feeling a, a renewed sense of hope and the stronger your faith is in a higher power uh, the easier it's going to be for you to feel refreshed in your life and for some of you you've had some maybe some difficult challenges that you faced and you may feel like now your faith is all that you have but remember faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So for many of you, you, you know on a very deep level that you are undergoing some kind of transformation. Uh, things are, are changing for you and you're on the verge of, of something big for yourself and you feel that. You're, you're also highly intuitive this week and you feel a strong connection to other people and your intuition because it's so strong this is going to allow you to use that to guide you to make the right decisions that could improve situations for you uh, this card because it's a major card you know th there are spiritual lessons attached to the major cards and so if you're dealing with something that's difficult or challenging the universe is challenging you to step up and you know use your potential to achieve something big for yourself so for many of you you will have to try to get past a situation and realize that there are positive lessons that are attached to that situation no matter what that was or how difficult it was and much of that is focused on uh, trying to determine where best to put your energy now some of you will need to make the distinction between investing in something that is worthwhile that shows a potential that involves some reciprocity where you get something out of it it's a mutual exchange versus being involved in things that lead to nowhere where you feel you know empty or used or exploited uh, so this the quicker that you're able to decide which situation is which the quicker and easier things will flow for you uh, this is also a card connected to water and your emotions and so don't allow those emotions to overwhelm you and guide your decisions your decisions should come from your higher self 
And that only happens when you, you know, put your emotions on an even keel. When you quiet the mind, that is when you can make the best decisions. So this is a week where your faith will be tested. Your faith in yourself, your faith in other people, your faith in your belief system. And if you are able to believe that there's a greater good at work and open yourself up to new possibilities, then that leap of faith for you is going to be rewarded. Although it's going to be in universe time and in the way that the universe sees fit. Uh, so this could be a week where you start some new journey, whether that's actually physically or metaphorically, uh, but you're looking to broaden your horizons in some way. Now, some of you are seeking freedom and maybe some of you are thinking of running away. Now, the fourth week you have the Knight of Pentacles. And because this is a slow night, maybe things are moving slowly for you, but you are making some steady progress. This is a card that is concerned with making tangible progress. The things that provide you a sense of security, a sense of belonging, whether that is emotionally or financially. This is a week where you could have improved finances. Maybe there's some unexpected source that you know, gives you a financial boost. And maybe that's because some people came to your aid or offered you some assistance or you were taking some action where money came into you. Uh, this is also a card about hard work and you, and you probably are working very hard this week because you want to see some results. You're using your common sense. You're taking a practical approach. Now, some of you, this is a person, and this could be a Taurus person. This could be a Capricorn, uh, a Virgo, uh, I'm sorry, a, Cap a, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, a Taurus, uh, male or female, sun, moon, or rising, or maybe you're employing these traits, or the situation is characterized by these traits. But there are issues of loyalty at stake, steadfastness, uh, faithfulness. Some of you, you know, speaking of faithfulness, this could be a secret love affair that you're having. But for most of you, there's a focus on finance. So some of you could be getting together with your accountant, uh, money manager, maybe, maybe you're a tradesperson and you're, you're doing something with your hands. Uh, some of you are doing some business traveling. There may be concerns with land or property. Uh, but this is, or even being a loyal friend. Uh, now, sometimes this is, you know, rut behavior. There's, there could be stagnancy here, you know, a lack of imagination. And so some of you may need to be more innovative and think outside of the box. But generally, this night produces. Uh, so some of you, again, you could be in a secret love affair or you could just be involved in situations that are going to open you up to more romantic opportunities or more social opportunities. But whatever it is, you want to be involved with people that are reliable, steady, that are future oriented, that are in it for the long term. And that's all of your relationships across the board, whether they are professional or personal. You are looking on at what you can count on. Uh, now, some of you, if you're dating, you know, this could be a week where you have some intimate connection to your partner, where maybe you go out for a quiet dinner somewhere, somewhere romantic, somewhere with candlelight, somewhere that's quiet. Uh, now, others of you in your relationships, whatever they may be, you may be overly uh, serious or pessimistic and you may sort of rain on the parade. Either you or the other person could be, you know, the wet blanket in a situation. Uh, and so 
this could be, you know, a week where, again, there's some good news or maybe some door opens for you that provides you that security that you're seeking. Uh, some of you are traveling. And again, some of you just need to relax a little bit, let loose, let your hair down. Uh, some of you need to focus on your health and maybe, you know, there needs to be some movement. Maybe you need to exercise. You're in a rut. You're just stuck. But also, you know, this month, you, the last week ends with a court card. And so situations may depend on another person. Someone outside of yourself may be a deciding factor in your situation. Now, the underlying energy is this tower card. So something that wasn't working has now collapsed. Now, this could be some kind of disruption that you experienced this month, uh, some kind of unavoidable changes. Some of you, maybe you get some freedom that you were seeking. Uh, some of you, the change is going to come out of the blue and suddenly. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be negative. Some of you may be getting new jobs. You may be changing, you know, your place of residence. Uh, but some of you, these are negative situations. You, you know, maybe you're separating or getting a divorce or you're dealing with an accident or there's some problems with your property or your finances. Uh, some of you are dealing with health problems. Uh, particularly those that may come on suddenly like stroke or high blood pressure or anything where there could be a sudden attack of some sort. Uh, some of you, you know, if you're dating and you meet someone, this could be like intense chemistry, just this bolt that shakes you up. Uh, but many of you, this is some adjustment that you're having to make. There's been a modification of some sort. Now, this could have come through uh, some traumatic experience, a crisis, or maybe you gained some insights into something, or maybe there was some disturbing news or some shocking revelations, but something to wake you up, to jolt you out of uh, your stagnancy. You may have been in a rut and the universe has decided that your world needs to be shaken in order for you to grow further. So there could have been a belief system that you were holding and that got shattered or you're experiencing some major transformation or some uh, rapid changes in your life or your lifestyle. The good news is that whatever has fallen apart, collapsed, changed, it's a good time for you to reorganize in general and rebuild some some aspects of your life that haven't been working for you. Uh, those things that have been keeping you back, keeping you confined. This is a card about breaking out. Uh, it's pressure that you feel that just it's got to go somewhere and things come to a head and it blows. Now this may show up as an argument or conflict. Uh, but this is you focusing on the areas of your life that haven't been working for you, that have been keeping you back from your fullest potential. So for some of you, maybe you were holding tightly onto something, you knew it wasn't working, and the universe came through and took it away. You were challenged in some way. It's some, you wanted something that you don't need anymore. For others of you, this does show up as a health issue, and probably because you didn't pay attention to something that you needed to. Now, maybe you weren't taking your medication, or maybe you weren't uh, doing your uh, regular medical uh, checkups, or you didn't follow the doctor's advice, or you've been eating too much, or eating the wrong thing, or whatever bad habit. And you, or maybe you waited too long to seek some medical attention and now things have hit crisis point. Uh, this card is saying that this month you need to be more flexible emotionally. You know, you may not want to be in situations that are confining or the other person. And so you need to give a little. Uh, and some of you are going to be forced to do that. You're going to be forced to accomplish more on your own, uh, materially, professionally. But success is going to come out of that ultimately. 
For others of you, this is some grand awakening. You're waking up and any self-doubt that you've had in the past, you're pushing that aside and you may be making some bold statements. You may be putting some things out there that surprise people. Uh, whatever has gone wrong or fallen apart, now you simply are glad that you know where you stand uh, and now you can move quickly to reorganize, to make the necessary changes that you need to make that are going to provide for your personal security and your continuity. Again, the, you could have uh, some disturbing news or some shocking information that comes to you. You may hear things that you do not like. Uh, you may hold, try to hold on to things that are not good for you. And you may be trying to convince yourself that they are. Some of you uh, are being very selective in the way you give out information, the way you behave in your relationships. You may be uh, sending out information piecemeal. You, I will tell you what I want you to know and you're not going to get anything else. This is going to create some misunderstandings that could be avoided. Uh, others of you, you may feel a sense of victimization. Uh, you may be having a pity party. But the truth of the matter is that at some point you made a choice and that choice put you in this position. So either you didn't attend to something when you should have, you let something go too long, uh, you didn't follow the red flags, you didn't pay attention to the signs, and now here we are. So this would be a, a month for you to not refuse what it is that you cannot change. Some things are just beyond you. Some things are not going to work out the way that you want. Uh, and so you need to come to terms with that in order to not work against yourself. Now, for some of you, this is going to be, again, something good. Something is going to come out of the blue that you didn't expect. Something that uh, may tie into your hopes and dreams and something that happens that actually pushes you uh, to a place where you surpass your expectations. This could be some unexpected gift or opportunity that comes to you out of nowhere. But m for many of you, this is going to be a wake-up call, a reality check, and the realization that you need to take some action. So overall, this month, the decisions you make, the actions you take, those are going to be motivated by your sense of personal security, your sense of belonging. And you will be looking at your relationships and determining whether those are working for you, whether you have been uh, participating in ways that are constructive or you have been working in ways with others that are self-defeating. And that's in your personal life and your professional life. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I would greatly appreciate your subscriptions, your likes and kind comments. For those of you who have already offered your support, Again, please know that I'm grateful and committed to you. Have a wonderful October, and I look forward to speaking with you next month.